good morning everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be giving you all a debt update my channel and my small business both started on account of me just jumping on youtube and sharing my debt-free journey with you all that led to me sharing how i budget how i save money how i invest money how i manage my sinking funds and it's been a long time since I've done an update on my channel for my debt. I will be the first to admit that I did not do a very good job sharing that here on my channel. And I'm sorry about that. It's just life, work, and a lot of other things just came at me in 2023. I'm in a better place now and I want to give you guys an update i am praying that i can have the time and the energy to put more um the time and the energy to pour more into my channel and take you guys along with this journey with me um because i'm still here i'm still budgeting i'm still saving i'm still paying off debt and i just haven't been sharing that i want to do better at that so without further more chit chat let's just get right into the video this is what i've been using to track my debt i have two vehicles that i'm trying to pay off it's an individual debt tracker because on this side i am tracking my honey's truck and then on this side i'm tracking our family vehicle and how i have it set up is i have the months here i have the minimum payments that i've made throughout the month any additional debt snowball and then my end of month balance and the same thing on this side and I have my TD Auto Finance report for this debt right here. This one, you're just going to have to take my word for it because it's online. I might just share like a little picture right here to give you um, the proof. I always get asked for proof whenever I share things on Instagram. And I'll go ahead and show you an end of month balance for December. But I have my little sheet right here. After we update this individual debt tracker, we'll be able to find out how much debt we've paid off in 2023 and what my amount of debt for 2024 is. Let's go ahead and get started. So in December, my minimum payment is always 350. And the additional that we paid in December was an additional $50. I wasn't able to make a debt snowball in November. If I had made a debt snowball in November, I would have applied it here, but I didn't. And this is what we paid. We paid 350 plus 50. That was $400 towards this debt. And that gives us right here, our end of month balance. So our end of month balance is $6,132.83. Now what I want to do is I want to find out what was my minimum amount of payments that I paid all throughout the year. And then what was my snowball that I paid all throughout the year. Let me go ahead and we'll add it up right here. So it's $350 all the way down for 12 months. So all we got to do is $350 times 12. And that's 4200 okay now we're gonna take the 50 and we're gonna times that by how many times we did that one two three four five six seven eight nine times nine 450 and then we made a 653 payment a thousand fifty and then a $600 payment. And that gives us $2,753. Okay, now this side is complete. Let's move over here. And we'll do the same thing on here. This is the family vehicle. 
we don't ever put too much towards this one because we're trying to pay off honey's truck first so this one was the 785 60 and then the 59 60 and our end of month balance here is ten thousand six hundred forty four dollars and eighty six cents let's go ahead and find out what our totals were for our minimum and our debt snowball very easy we're going to take the 785.60 right and we're going to multiply it by 12 nine thousand four hundred twenty seven dollars and twenty cents so i'm going to put that here okay now our debt snowball was fifty nine dollars and sixty cents we're going to times that by 12 and that's seven hundred and fifteen dollars and twenty cents now our individual debt tracker is complete you can see here that we started with Honey's truck with $12,606.13. That's what our balance was in 2023. Now at the end of 2023 going in to January of 2024, our end of month balance is $6,132.83. Over here in the family vehicle, our starting balance for 2023 was $20,124.97. Now our end of month balance is $10,644.86. After we've completed this form, we're gonna do another form and we're gonna see all these numbers come together. This right here is my yearly debt payment tracker. I use this form to help me fill out this form. And I'm just gonna put this right here so that I can see the numbers. And we're gonna do this form together. Each one of these boxes represents a month in the year. It says my debt-free journey began June of 2019. The amount of debt I started with was $107,942.62. In the year of 2023, my starting debt was $32,731.10. This is at the beginning of 2023. This was at the beginning of 2019. I want to know what I am looking forward to in 2024. Okay, so in December, this month, I paid off this much debt. Let's find out. I put 350 plus 50 in December plus 785.60 plus the 5960. That's $1,245.20. That's what I applied towards debt. So I'm going to put that right here. So that's how much I applied towards debt in December. Now, what is my current debt. All I have to do is look at this form and add up my end of month balance here of $6,132.83 plus the $10,644.86. So now my current debt is $16,777.69. Now I am done with this form. I'm not gonna need this form anymore. I'll go ahead and add this to my binder later. Now it asks, this year I paid off how much of my debt and how to find that out. It's very simple. All I gotta do is take my starting debt for 2023, which was $32,731.10, and I subtract this $16,000 seven hundred and seventy seven dollars and sixty nine cents because this is what i have to pay off still and that means that i've paid off fifteen thousand nine hundred fifty three dollars and forty one cents and in order to double check that all i have to do is take these two numbers add them together and i should get this 
32, 7, 31, 10, 32, 7, 31, 10. At the bottom here, it says my starting debt for next year is right here. This debt from December is going to roll into January. So that amount goes here, $16,777.69. Now this form is complete. I added this debt snowball tracker and my yearly goals form into my budget binder because I wanted to be able to see automatically what my debt snowball is and make sure that I'm either setting a goal and trying to obtain it or reach it and this form is what I came up with. I use it, I like it, and I'm going to use it again in 2024. So right here it says this year's financial goal for 2023 is to pay off my honey's truck. I did not do that. So I'm going to put an X here. Minimum payment of 1051 towards my honey's truck. We already know that that didn't happen every month like we wanted it to. So it happened here. And over here was just 400 it happened here and here and that's it so unfortunately though it might seem like i have it all together and i'm just like um knocking goals out left and right that's not the case as you can see and then debt snowball 651 dollars a month that we can come back here and see that that also did not happen 653 1050 and then 600 didn't happen that's okay all right and then this year's personal goal a healthy bmi i am healthier than i was when i started 2023 i am going to say yes i am at a healthier bmi read six books yes i've done that two hours of personal time daily that turned in to praying and reading my bible and bible study so this makes me very happy and then over here total amount of debt paid off this year that's already on this form so fifteen thousand nine fifty three forty one so fifteen nine fifty three forty one. Let me make sure that that's right. Fifteen nine forty three. I already messed up. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right here. Fifteen nine fifty three point forty one. Fifteen nine fifty three forty one. Okay. I'll wipe this out and while it's drying we'll move on to another part of the form that's okay all right okay so in December we know that we didn't apply anything extra to that snowball so that is just a whopping one hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents fifteen nine Fifty three. All right, so my monthly snowball tracker right here. Let's go ahead and add these up so we know what our snowball was for the entire year. How much did we ever put into snowball? Let's find out. 109.60 seems to be a common number. So I'm going to do 109.60 and I'm going to multiply that by how many times we've done it. So one two three four five six seven eight nine times nine okay now we're going to add the seven twelve sixty now we need to add the eleven oh nine sixty and the six fifty nine sixty 
and that is $3,468.20. That is how much we put towards Snowball for the entire year of 2023. Over here it says total yearly amount saved in Kadema's coin savings challenge. Let me show you guys <clears throat> what that is. Over on my Facebook page, I have a group called Kadema's Awesome Squad. My 11-year-old named it. And it's a coin savings challenge. This was the first sheet, second sheet, third sheet, and fourth sheet. I have my coin right here oh my gosh this is heavy but i'm not going to complete that just yet here on my channel i just wanted to show you all so that you know what i'm talking about whenever you see this i'm going to go live on my facebook group and then do that with my people over there so if you are not part of kadema's awesome squad on facebook Go over there because I will be doing that sometime. My note is, be patient with myself. Small progress is still a step in the right direction. I will come back, like I said, and finish this on my Facebook group. But my voice is just about to give out, you all. But here we are. This is what we've done for 2023. I'm excited because we've paid off over $15,000 and now for 2024 I have $16,000 um, in debt. Nowhere near the $32,000 that we started. I already have my new budget binder. This is it right here. It's going to be black and gold. I've already started putting some forms in there and I'm excited. I haven't done the goals part, but I've already gotten everything ready for January. Hi, baby. In my next video, I will show you guys how I do this yearly bill and expense tracker. Um, this form is very important to me because it shows me where all my money goes on a yearly basis. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, I hope that you consider subscribing if you haven't already. And if you are subscribed, hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when I upload again. I'll talk to you guys later. God bless you. Bye. Bye.